Hey guys, it's me. I accidentally deleted the first part of this vlog, so I am going to explain to you exactly what's going on. So I did have vacation until the 15th of April. I was in Phoenix for 99% of that vacation. So I was able to pick up a two day trip on the last day of my vacation, which was the 15th. So I am going from Denver to airport code C-U-N, which is Cancun, Mexico, and then Cancun to Cleveland. When I get to Cleveland, I have a 24 hour and 16 minute layover. And day two is Cleveland back to Denver. Now when I get back to Denver, I do have a two hour and 34 minute ground time. And this next trip that I am starting is a trip that was already on my schedule as a line holder because I have vacation for the month of April. So it's a red eye. So it's actually a Denver to airport code ATL, which is Atlanta, Georgia. Now, when I get to Atlanta, I have a 25 hour and 47 minute layover and day two. So this is probably like a four day trip. It is Atlanta to airport code MBJ, which is Montego Bay, Jamaica. So I'm actually doing a turn. So Atlanta to Jamaica, Jamaica back to Atlanta and then Atlanta to Denver. So what I did is combine a two day trip with another two day trip. So it really became a four day trip. So for these pairings, I am the Beyonce. And let me give you the specs. A uh, time away from base, 84 hours and 18 minutes. And then the credit hours, 23 hours and 27 minutes. So I did a pretty good job combining everything together. And the reason why I will be working hard in April is because I did not pick up on my vacation. Y'all know that picking up on your vacation days is more money. So the vlog is going to start me going to Cleveland and that's where it picks up. So I hope this explains everything, but y'all enjoy this vlog. I am finally in my hotel room in Cleveland. I've done a hotel tour before, but I'll do another one. So let's do it. So of course they have a closet. Uh, this door does not open for some reason, but you can see that iron board. Um, you got the laundry bag here. You have a police door, and then you walk in the bathroom. All right, they got that shag rug, towels that I would not be using. All right, we got tissue, and these are the amenities here. Here is the bathtub a slash shower. I will be using that very shortly. Police door who's on the other side and a full length mirror and guys I have on this sweater and again my slacks I did ask for a double bed so I have a double bed there is the TV and this hotel has a refrigerator and a microwave yes and the workstation desk area the light doesn't work so I have the coffee maker with the condiments again the light that doesn't work uh, there's the container for ice chill section with a lamp and this is Cleveland tonight a lot of tall buildings. There was a lot of activity and we'll talk about that later. And ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude the room tour in Cleveland. So the flight time from Cancun to Cleveland, three hours and 23 minutes. Um, we were, like I said, a little over halfway full. Uh, you know, a couple issues with the mask, but still I rise, okay? Uh, so tonight in Cleveland, there is a lot of activity. I think the Cavs are playing, the Guardians, there's all kind of things going on. People are walking around. Girls got their cheeks out. Flotation devices are activated. And I'm like, where is everyone going? So on this Good Friday, there's a lot going on, but the weather is not agreeing with my spirit. You know, we got 24 hours and right now, guys, I have no plans. I just want to relax. So I do want to bring you guys up to speed because I really haven't been vlogging. Just mentally, I was checked out. So I was on vacation uh, from the 2nd of April until the 15th, which is today. So I got to Phoenix on the 31st of March and left the 13th. So I was in Phoenix for a while and I needed that. I just needed to recharge and be around people who love me and care about me. During that time, I went out for my birthday which you guys saw with Shayna and my best friend Karina. I did a lot of Starbucks. I was able to meet my newest nephew, Tatum Christopher Ford. And I cried when I saw him because I think about my mom. She is not here to see her grandchildren. I got with my brother and his wife. I spent time with Margaret. 
time was scratchy i checked my p.o box and again thank you al for the lovely gifts i mean my time in arizona was well spent and i did some other things that i'm not going to mention but i needed that break i was very homesick when i left i did break down and i cried so i cannot wait for november oh and i almost forgot when I'm in Arizona, I always get my nails done at Walmart. They do a really good job. I go to the Walmart on 35th Avenue in Bethany because I used to live right down the street. So let me show you. She executed this design. I really do like it. It's something different. Of course, my toes always stay white, but that's what I did absolutely nothing but i did pick up this trip on the last day of my vacation and y'all can tell mentally i was gone because on my vacation usually i pick up because it's more money right so there's other things going on in my life but i don't want to put it out there just yet l and a couple other people in my family know exactly what's going on but other than that i'm just gonna up uh, until it is official it's like a relationship. No relationship is official until you announce it on Facebook. So that's how I will just say this. But in my case, I'm not talking about a relationship. When this happens, it will be announced on Facebook. So y'all stay tuned for that. But that's it. 24 hours in Cleveland. What I'm about to do is eat. My head is killing me. Um, I might take a nap. But if I decide to do anything in Cleveland, you guys know I will be with you. The coins are funny, the weather's kind of iffy, and your girl is tired. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll talk again. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today's date is April the 16th on a Saturday, and the local time right now in Cleveland, 7.01 p.m. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, today is going to be the end of this trip, and then I go right into another one. Uh, so it looks like cruise scheduling, um, they did something called married, or they combined two trips together. So again, this has became a four day for me. Um, so it's one leg, Cleveland back to Denver. When I get to Denver, I have a two hour and 39 minute ground time. And then I am doing a red eye to Atlanta where I will have a 25 hour and 48 minute layover. Now this is very weird how I did this because I added this trip to check in for this red eye. So this is very interesting guys with this trip. So again, 25 hours in Atlanta and then coming back to Denver, I have a very long day. Our van time is 7, 12 p.m. So I have a few minutes to talk to you guys, but guys, I didn't do anything out here absolutely nothing i did one for a little walk um like i said i'm on this little diet i am trying but other than that i didn't do anything and i don't feel bad so one leg to denver and then a red eye to atlanta so i am going to pack everything meet my crew and i think it's a light load going to denver but we'll see so you guys stay tuned and i'll see you walking down the jet bridge unless there are any changes all right but. guys we're heading down the jet bridge a little bit of a delay because it came in from international uh cancun to be exact it's a very light load not even halfway full so we'll see how this goes with the final check-in numbers and the time but guys i'll see you uh back in denver only to go to atlanta so you guys stay tuned and ladies and gentlemen i am back in denver the local time right now is 10.38 p.m. So the flight time from Cleveland to Denver, uh, two hours and 58 minutes. Again, we were not even halfway full. It was a very light load. Now I'm about to work a red eye again to ATL. So I got a little bit of ground time. What I plan on doing is eating my uh, Lean Cuisine. I'm trying to be healthy, trying to do something different, but guys, my head is killing me. I have got to eat. I had my little slim fast shake, a banana, so I don't know. I am really trying to do better, but we'll see. So guys, I have a few minutes here. I will see you heading down that jet bridge going to Atlanta. You guys stay tuned. All right, heading down the jet bridge to go to Atlanta. Y'all know the routine, safety checks, pre-flight requirements. 
Uh, we are almost a full flight, so we'll see the final check-in numbers. But guys, this is my last leg, and it's Easter. Yeah, it is, so happy Easter. Well, it's going to be Easter, so I'll see you in Atlanta. You guys stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am in my room in Atlanta, so let's do the room tour. First off is the closet. So we have a mirror, iron board, iron, laundry bag, and hangers. Here's the bathroom, so I always love this wall. And they have glasses in here. Uh, these are the toiletries and a selfie light. I love this light. All right, a lot of towels I will not be using. Toilet paper, trash. And of course, a walk-in shower. So I love the different options they give you here. Look at you can put your foot down here, hold on to that rail so you can really get it clean. Look at that shower head. So you have shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. And then here you have a refrigerator, coffee maker and the condiments, container for the ice, and a mirror. This is the sleeping area. I have a king size bed. We got a chill section right here with the lamp. You can sit here with a full length mirror and yeah, this is what I'm wearing. You got the TV. The remote control, workstation desk area, those are my socks, that's nasty. You got the, uh, see the headboard is kind of hard, so I don't like the headboard. But they have this little reading light and a cute little lamp. And ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude the room tour in Atlanta. And the flight time from Denver to Atlanta, 2 hours and 17 minutes. We were on an A320 a Space Flex, 31 rows of seats, 186 passengers, max capacity. We were three fourths full. We did have a medical while boarding, so we had to take care of that. We were a little delayed, but we made it here on time. Crew, they all got things they are going to do. So the Kelly Rowland on this pairing is someone that I know. And then the strong background singer, she is going to church. So I was uh, telling her I want to go with her, right? But I don't know. I did not bring any church attire. It is Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday, you show out. I refuse to disrespect God and go to his house dressed any type of way. So we'll see how this works out. Sam Cook said it best, a change is going to come. And in order for me to change my eating habits, I have to get better. So I have been on this diet since the 15th. And it always works for me. It is the slim, fast diet. So I got my little shake. The only bad thing about this is it is 19 grams of sugar. I should do the keto, but it's really uh, two shakes or two meal replacements and a sensible dinner. So I do have a lean cuisine that I have been eating and I'm trying. So this hotel, they have a bomb breakfast. Y'all don't know how tempted I was to get it. But let me show you what I am eating instead. Now, I put almond milk. So the girl hooked me up. She put steamed almond milk in here. So yeah, I am having oatmeal with a banana. So I am really, really trying to be faithful to this diet. But I was, again, I was so tempted. Lord, the flesh is weak. The flesh is very weak. And I also brought with me other bananas and I'm going to dip it in peanut butter. This all could be bad, you know, because the banana has natural sugar, peanut butter, sugar, the oatmeal, the slim fast shake. I'm trying guys, trust me. Y'all just do not know how hard it is for me to lose weight and try to maintain a healthy diet. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is go to the gym, um, yeah do some walking on the treadmill. Just wanna get healthy. You know, I'm 40 years old, my metabolism is not fast, and there's a lot of things that run in my family. I really need to take better care of myself. I mean, guys, I am not trying to be on my 600 pound life. I do not wanna to go to Houston to see Dr. Now. Cause that, that diet, oh, savage. It is Easter Sunday. This is all about God has risen from the grave. And let me tell you something, on this flight, oh Lord, there were a couple of passengers that really triggered my spirit. So trust me, I am working on me because I did not go left. I stayed right on the course and kept it moving. 25 hours, I have never had 
a layover this long. I've had double layover, a triple layover, but for one layover to be 25 hours, oh, your girl is gonna act crazy. So let me eat my breakfast and y'all stay tuned. Happy Easter. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's date is Monday, April the 18th, and the local time right now in Atlanta, Georgia, 6.44 a.m. So today is go home day, three legs. Atlanta to Jamaica, Jamaica back to Atlanta, and then Atlanta to Denver. It is going to be a very long day. That's why I needed that 25 hours of rest because my duty day today is already at 13 hours and eight minutes. So guys, at this hotel, we don't use a shuttle. So we basically select a time we want to leave. So we are meeting at seven o'clock to head to the airport. So again, I got 15 minutes. I am going to head downstairs. Give me something to eat. Like I said, I'm on a diet and I have been sticking to my diet. Lord knows, once again, the flesh is weak, especially when I know what type of food I used to eat when I come to this hotel. I did not do anything for the 25 hours. Easter Sunday is kind of a hit or miss. It was raining all day. I did not go to church. I slept. I did edit a video, I uh, drank my slim fast shake, took a nap, you know, uh, woke up guys, watched a little YouTube and went back to sleep. So one thing I try to do at every hotel that I stay in is make it easy for the person cleaning the room. I try to make up the bed, put all the trash in the garbage. I don't want to be that person. And the reason why I do this is because in between flights, we clean. And I get so disgusted how these planes are destroyed. And you would think, oh, it's a four hour flight. It makes sense. No, no, no. It be the shortest flights, 50 minutes, an hour. Those planes are destroyed. So I always make it a point to clean up after myself because we are all adults, we are grown. There's no reason why my hotel room should look like I had a party, just saying. So I will see you when I am heading down the jet bridge. I got to show that good passport because it is international, baby. So see you soon. Good morning. Right, guys, uh, we're heading down the jet bridge to go to Jamaica. Jamaica. It's not a full load. A little over halfway full. So we'll see the final check-in numbers. But I'm excited. First time going with my airline. So you guys stay tuned. And I'll see you in Jamaica. Uh, right now the local time is 10:35 uh, a.m. Uh, so the flight time from Atlanta to Jamaica it was uh, two hours and 22 minutes uh, like I said a little over halfway full so right now we are in the jet bridge um, so we have to get off because in Jamaica they clean our aircrafts and we cannot be on when they are cleaning the aircraft so I don't have too much of a good footage or anything but it is incredibly hot and we're trying to figure out what the lows are going back to Atlanta. So uh, yeah, we're just waiting. They have a different protocol here in Jamaica, so we gotta make sure that we don't violate any protocols, but literally we are in the jet bridge. All right, so I'm just chilling here with my luggage. I'm gonna take everything off. And then we will be going back, but like I said, it's hot. It is hot. I am trying to salvage these eyebrows because we got two more legs and then I will be done with today. So, so far so good. Uh, oh, the accents, child. I love the accents in Jamaica. I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely giving. Authentic accents, okay? New York has them and of course they're going to Jamaica so they're going to have them here. But guys, I'll see you when I get back to Atlanta and when I have service because I have no service. So. Good morning. You guys stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're heading down to Jeffers right now. We just came through customs. Um, our last leg of the day going to uh, Denver. I was about to say Atlanta. Uh, but yeah, this is a, whew, there's a lot going on. Can't even tell you guys because I'll get in trouble. But there'll be a lot going on. And I just got to be silent. But anyways, safety checks, pre-flight requirements. Last leg. I hope it's the easiest one. Stay tuned. And ladies and gentlemen, I am back at the crash pad. 
uh, the local time right now in Brighton slash Thornton 11.09 p.m. The flight time from Atlanta to Denver, two hours and 51 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, it was nearly a full flight. We had a couple of issues uh, because it was an international flight, right? It came from Jamaica. There's a few things you have to do before getting the aircraft prepared. So that had to be done. There was many things that happened on my last leg today. But the one thing I am so, so excited about is that mask mandate. It's over. It is over. Um, I was very shocked. And I have to tell you how this came about. So the pilot and first officer, you know, they were not wearing a mask. Of course, I said something to them. And they replied that a federal judge lifted the mask mandate. Well, I thought they were lying because didn't hear about it, right? Guys in mid-flight, the captain called me and says, I have a message for you. I thought I was in trouble because I, I did basically call him a liar, okay? Didn't believe that uh, the mask mandate was lifted because I knew that it was extended to May 3rd and today's the 18th. So I said, there's no way. It was basically communications from headquarters saying effectively the mask mandate has been lifted for all passengers, crew members, and guys, I'm telling you right now, the captain made an announcement and people were celebrating. For me, I'm very excited. And the main reason why I am excited, guys, because my mental health, it was taking a toll on me. I don't think you guys understand what flight attendants have been going through for over two years with the mask. It's a lot, guys. And for me, it drains me emotionally. Mentally, I was checked out. That's why when I was in Arizona and I left, I cried because I dreaded having to go back to work and to tell people to wear a mask. That is the hard part for me. I just could not do it. I have uh, vented to you guys several times about what goes on with me. And I am just one person. And it's hard when it's one versus everybody. And guys, I do not want to work like that. I don't want that pressure. Flying for me was fun. The mask mandate and the continued extension of it, it did not make my job fun. And I'm, I'm just being honest with you guys. Mentally, guys, I was breaking down. And I've reached out to a few people, but I just couldn't handle it anymore. So... I am so excited it is over with that I don't have to tell anyone to wear it. So I'm off for the next few days and I am uh, actively trying to pick up something right now. So remember, I just came off of a four day that I made and it was combined. My company put the two trips together. I am trying to do that again, guys, because I want to maximize my coins. When I was in Arizona, I was spending a lot of money that I did not have. So I have to make that money back. I know if I don't work like this, my check is going to be very disgusting and I don't do disgust. So with these uh, three legs today, ladies and gentlemen, we had a small series of delays. My duty day went from 13 hours and eight minutes to 13 hours and 48. So that's a lot. I'm tired. I have been up since 5.30 Eastern, which in Denver is 3.30. And right now it's 11:19, so almost a whole day. So I need to get some rest, but I just wanted to come and end the vlog hustling. That is what the goal is. Making up for the vacation that I had in Arizona because again, I didn't work on my vacation. Well, just the last day, the 15th I did, but all the other days I didn't. And financially that was bad. So I will be on my grind. And now that the mask mandate has been lifted i have a peace of mind and it just oh my gosh it just felt so good it felt so good to know i don't have to worry about telling others to wear the mask but guys as always i love you ford explorers old and new thank you for watching and until next time